Hi everyone. Today's message is about the paradox that you're not going to find what you're looking for if you're looking for it. So, if you're looking for something desperately, it's almost like you start repelling it and pushing it away. It's like there, there's a certain point in your life where you're just not ready for the answer. And, and this is a hard thing because this is something that I'm grappling with. So there's something that I know, I know deep in my soul, in my truth, that is something that is meant for me in this life. It just, it feels right, it resonates. And however, in this given moment, that is not my reality yet. And so I have this deep inner longing mixed in with this deep inner knowing that I want to experience this. And, and I know that that's gonna happen. I, I sincerely know that that's gonna happen. But there are moments when I get desperate and I start trying to find what I'm looking for instead of allowing it to find me in its own time. And I think that's kind of where this paradox sort of gets paradoxical because it's almost like it's like those moments when you lose your keys and you start frantically searching all over your house. Where's my keys? I lost my keys. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, you're very, very, very actively trying to find your keys. And you think that by you intervening and taking on this manic action of trying to seek out these keys, that that's going to allow you to find the keys. Most of the time, that's not how you find the keys. Most of the time is when you sit back, you kind of, okay, I lost my keys, whatever. And you kind, and then you kind of, whatever, accept it. And it's almost like the keys find you. you. You step back, you put your energy back into yourself instead of being hyper attached and fixated on the thing that you want, that you're looking for. And in that way, it's almost like you you bring yourself back to your center and yeah, what's looking for finds you. And it's 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 in that bit of lull time between knowing deep inside that you that something is for you in this life and not being ready for it. Basically, I think sometimes in life you have to just sit back, settle into yourself and be where you are and just have faith and patience that the things that are true to you, that you are seeking, that, they, that they're seeking you too and in their own time. And, you know, both, it, you, it, you really, and I'm reading um, Letting Go by David Hawkins again. I've already read this book, but it's, I'm reading it again. And it talks about, the belief in a win-win scenario and to me a win-win scenario is when both how do I say this like both things are that are seeking each other are fully mature and fully actualized to be brought into unity because if you try to force and find and seek out um, before the the thing that you're seeking that's also seeking you is ready you're going to cause a distortion in that ability for those things to connect because they're not one side hasn't one side well both sides because well I'll finish the thought because both sides have to be ready for them to come together for those two things that are seeking each other to come together and it's just like in this moment if I'm honest like the thing that my heart is longing for that I want I don't want to say want, but that like, just, I can just know is my soul's calling and is just so in line with where I'm headed in this life. I just, I know it's a place, not even a place. It, it's, I just know it's an experience that I'm heading towards. However, I'm not there yet. I'm here. And so I need to be here to be there and trust that I'm going to be there 
when is the right time. It's like the things in your life that are meant for you would be in your life now if they are meant for you. But at the same time, there are things that are meant for you that you're just not ready for, that you still have to sit in that, that fire, that, yeah, like that, that, that building phase for the next, for, for that thing that's coming, like you have to be ready for it. And sometimes that takes very, very patient waiting. And it's, it's hard and you want to get involved in the process. You want to start trying to find it. Like you, you want to be active all the time. And sometimes you just have to sit back in that being, I guess what I'm saying. And, I, and this is, this is really pertinent to my life right now because there are things that I just know in my heart and my soul that are meant for me that I want that again I don't want to use the word want that I that are that are aligned with my highest calling. However, when I when I really pull back and I'm honest with myself and ask if those things were here now in this given moment, am I truly ready for them? Am I truly ready for that reality to be here? No, or else it would be. And that's sometimes a very, very frustrating thing. But that doesn't mean that it's not going to come. You have to be patient. You have to go through the processes that you need to go through, the growth, the maturation, the transformation, in order to be able to hold that new reality and, and to be a... Um, to be a functioning part of it because if it arrives too soon like I said it's like if both those things aren't ready it's it's gonna have to go its separate way and it, it just makes things harder to be all, like if, if you get something before it's ready and then it, it goes away and anyways I hope this is like making some degree of sense but what I'm really trying to say is that yeah basically there, there's a paradox in that when you're looking for something, no, it's the paradox. Basically the paradox is that when, when you're looking for something, you're not gonna find what you're looking for. You have to just be where you are and allow what's, what you're looking for, which is also looking for you to find you. And it seems so counterintuitive, hence the paradox, because you think seeking, you should be seeking something when I believe, and this is this is something that clearly I'm still coming to terms with because it's like coming out a bit clunkily, but I think enough of it has came out with some clarity that it will hopefully resonate. But yeah, so I think you need to sit in that being, be where you are and patiently wait and let, basically let the fabric of space time that you're in right now and moving through towards the thing that you just know is calling to, to you, that you know is meant for you, and it's over here, and you're over here, and you're just you're just not there yet. You're just not there yet, and you you feel it in your gut, your heart, your soul, like every cell in my being feels that I'm going to at one point be experiencing this reality, but this reality is just not here yet because my inner world is not fully actualized to be able to be in aligned with that reality. And that's okay because this, that just means this is where I'm supposed to be. This is where I need to be and accepting that. And like I said, yeah, it's, it's, it's really an act uh, of letting go and allowing the thing to find you when the time is right. And all you can really do is what you can control. And that is drawing your energy back to yourself. And that, that creates a very strong magnetic pull for the things that you do want. When you focus on, okay, in this moment, what can I control? What are the things that I can do to mold myself or, you know, be part participate in that molding process? in this moment of space time so that when this reality that I know is making its way towards me and me towards it, when it, when it, when all the things come together and aligned, I'm going to be the most ready I can be for that. And 
That means to me doing the next right thing and following the things that light up your soul and give you joy. Uh, and, and the higher, the higher emotions. And again, like flushing out all the, uh, the limiting beliefs and lower vibrations that aren't, that aren't conducive to the version of you who once everything falls into place and the seeking matches the seeking and the win and the win come together and yeah. Once that comes, you'll be the person you need to be to be able to hold that. I hope that makes sense. Again, I'm still kind of working through this myself. So, and you know what? I've been tired and that, uh, it's a whole other side note, but I just think like, it's okay. Like, uh, I believe it's Thich Nhat Hanh who says this. And if it's not, I'm sorry, it might be the Buddha, but I, I think it's Thich Nhat Hanh. But if you're tired, rest. And that's what you should be doing. Again, it's that, that active seeking. Sometimes you can't be in that. There's, there's a time when it's, and, and you'll feel it. You'll feel like you're forcing, looking, and, and trying to draw stuff into you. And because it, it, it um, dysregulates you. It dysregulates you because that's not what the universe, God, your higher power, whatever is intending you to be as in this specific moment. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. So if you're tired, rest too. And if you're hungry, eat, etc., etc. Anyways, the simplicity of living. Um, so I hope you got something from this. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.